guys, back to the rowing field. Uh, my last little trip out, I had my beach fix. Uh, okay for coin shooting, but no bling bling to report. Uh, so we've come back to the rowing field. Uh, it's been a few days now since we've been in here, but as you can see, the, all the green in front of me is where they spilt the barley when they were loading up the, the tractor and the trailer. And you see how quickly that shot up. Uh, so Brian will need to give this a good ploughing soon. But the usual the pipelines are still not finished so he's just hanging fire till all that's done so we've come here a bit of stubble bashing again uh, a lot of diminishing returns at the moment the last few trips the roman grots count have been going down but we have had a hammy in each of the last four trips so we've done quite well so fingers crossed for today we brought the ctx out again got the super blues attached on there just getting a bit lazy not using the WM10 at the moment so I use that for when I do get a find and just help out with the, the sounds to let you guys hear them so we'll crack on with the hunt weather's well, a bit manky as we would say in Scotland all pollution and overcast it needs a, a good bit of rain to, to clear the air out so we'll do our usual we'll head off down the side of the field down the old trackway Get down to the Roman patch and see what we can winkle out. Well guys, first decent signal we've had. Just in the just under the surface there, we've got a tiny little copper something. Yeah, it's a little button. Yeah. Loads of these little buttons and Eventually one decent find will come along. So it's a little start. Shows me ears are tuned in and are finding these little buttons. So let's carry on and work our way down to the roaming patch. Well this signal came from about 8-9 inches down. Very very small low tone it was. It was the bottom of the screen so I nearly didn't dig it. But as you can see Got a piece of bronze. Not sure what that is. A little pattern on it. I think it maybe could be a strap end. I'll have to get it cleaned up. I think it's a strap end. That's what I'll go for until we clean it up. Yeah, nearly passed that one up, but. Ferris coin told me that there was uh, definitely something in there. Oh, not a bad start. Well guys, got a nice tour off this one. And we can just see him in the little clod there. Looks like a, a button. Yeah, nice little pewter button. Looks like he's intact as well. Okay, got a nice lovely tone here, so I think we'll go for a little live dig because it's not very deep, it's just under the surface there. Getting close to the, the Roman patch again, so let's see what it is there. Looks like a oh, just a button. Yeah, just an ordinary little copper button. Well, it was a nice clear signal we've got a musket ball by the looks of things looks like one of the, the later ones look at its size the rule of thumb is the smaller the, the ball the later it is it's been chewed up a little bit so that's probably plow damage and other things it's probably fired as well hit something oh, i'll get that the face pouch on to the next one well just did the little musket ball with the end of the detect machine is there just another step, got our first little rowing. As usual, just come over the ridge, that's where they always start to appear. Make the head out on that one. But these are late in the Roman's occupation, these, all these coins are sort of like 3, 380 onwards to about 440, somewhere around there. Sometimes you can make out the heads but they're getting such a state in this soil 
Uh, there's something there, but anyway, that's the first one of the day. So we'll get the fine point created with the CTX and get on to the next one. Well guys, got a nice one here on stubble cam. A nice low rumble. Hope you can hear me. <laughs> yeah, we got him out. So these are not the same as they used to be. So we'll just see if you can find out where he is. In this piece here. Breaking him down to little pieces and I can see what we got. Nothing shown on the clod yet. I can see him now, just on the edge there. And we have, typical for a live dig, we have another button. Ah, ah well, we tried. Well, I spent a bit of time chasing that one around the dirt. It's a tiny little minim. Uh, it's only the second one we had. Roman coin so far, when you're at the end of the first run through the Roman patch. So I've put some buttons, bits of lead, this is the second little Roman. Look well, guys, I'm just on the edge of the spoil heap here and I've got this lovely signal. Only a few inches down, so I'll just check with the probe first. And you see it's just under the surface, just at the end of the probe there. Uh, we're on sped cam at the moment, so I'll have to use the trowel. I don't think it's too deep. Yeah, it's just did that first little clump there. This one here. And a nice sound. All within the last little piece that you're searching. Tiny whatever it is. And we got Yeah, another little button. Typical that. Go on camera for a live dig and you end up with buttons today. Oh well, we'll try again. Well, I've, I think I've exhausted the original Roman patch. I've only had two in two hours. I've uh, moved across to my secondary little Roman patch and first signal, bang. Nice little Roman. I'll be concentrating on this area now. Uh, until the ploughing is done. I think we've done to death the other one with the F-75 and the CTX now. There's not many signals left in there that I've, that I've missed, so I'll concentrate on this area now. Well guys, two more steps. And there we go, looks like we've got another one. Let's get them out of the soil here. Yep, yeah, got another little Roman Grotti. See if there's uh, anything showing on him. Looks like this one's well gone. Well, I've got a head. Just make out a head on there. That's about it. I don't think we're going to get much else off him. Well, two steps, two Romans. Not doing too bad this new little patch. Well, guys, got an absolute banging signal here. I can't really miss that one. Sounds like it's going to be a, a copper coin or something. It's very close to the surface as well, I think. Uh, it's just there. But hopefully a uh, stubble cam will come out a bit better this time. And lo and behold, we guessed that perfectly there. It's an old penny. Now you don't get much better than there. Uh, 
using your ears for establishing what that is and it's George V Denny yeah couldn't really miss that you couldn't mistake it either distinct tone you get from those so let's get on to the next one the little patches are perked up well I haven't got my heart racing I just saw that on the edge of the hole pulled it out and it's a gilded button oh, they get me every time look at that but with a little stator then, or even a sovereign, but no, we got a gilded button. That's the third one of those I've had in the last few visits. Oh well, one will come along sooner or later. There we go, out pops another one. Very thin one that. Not a lot to actually seen on it. But, Starting to pick up now, so we'll carry on into this little spatch here. Well guys, you can see the depth that's come from. That's my whole spade blade actually in that hole. I just spotted that coming over here and it's unmistakable signal was of a copper penny. Absolute blast to be used out that one. So from about nine inches down, you just can't miss them. That one's well eaten away. Can't even see a head or anything on that. Right, when it's cleaned up, we might get something, but definitely an old penny. Might could be an old Georgian hatney even, because it's that one. Well, let's get on to the next one. Well, guys, we're going down deep for this one. Probes just got up there, and the probes almost a full depth in the hole now. Coming is a. A nice coppery signal. It's down here somewhere. I'm expecting something like a penny from this sort of depth. Still down the bottom. I'm going right down deep for this one. Thing is with this sort of flinty soil you can never tell when you're actually got down there oh there it is spindle whirl yeah nice deep that was a really deep one uh, spindle whirl it's got the, the hole in the middle there and you can just see that yeah they've got the hole straight through good that's a nice bit of medieval find nice and deep that must have been a good 10, 11 inches down. Lovely find. And another ultra thin and grotty one for the collection. Can't really see anything on that one. It's been there quite a while, it's got quite a battery. Okay, got another little Roman. Another little, uh, very late one. It's uh, got a bit of detail on that one. The one thing I am doing is plotting every one of these uh, as fine points. Uh, so I'll be able to come back time and time again, back to the same area. And this is a, another little hot spot uh, for the little Romans. I said I found this one with the F-75. And uh, I've come back to this area again. And they're pinpointing all the little Roman coins that I find. And definitely in this new area, which is quite good. Because the other one's gone a bit quiet. So I'll keep plotting my way. I'll get this uh, five point sorted out now and get it bagged up. Well, I've got another coin from so it's six inches down. Looks like a halfpenny. I've just started the, the turn back to the top of the field. I'm uh, going to pick the wife up again. In fact, <laughs> this halfpenny looks distinctly like a modern 2p. What's that doing in the middle of my roaming field? Yeah, uh, definitely a 2p. <laughs> Somebody's been putting that there to wake me up, I think. Oh well, get that cleaned up and I'll go with the rest of the money for the papers. Well, for about nine inches down, got this lovely little find. It's a nice uh, old gaming token, a lead one. It's got like a cross on it there. 
I like, I like finding these, it's quite a bit since I've found one. So I've just got a plain back, and it's just got the cross on the front. Looks like I've got another gaming piece, this time it's a, a pewter one. It looks like it's got, to me it looks like a fleur-de-lis on there. And I have had a few French coins from around this area in the, the last few hunts, so I'm just wondering if it's a French gaming token. You can just see that there. I thought it was a little Roman at first and then turned it over because I saw the flat side and then that was there on the, the other side. That's an interesting little piece. See if we can get that one ID'd. Hi guys, welcome to the review. Just a little short hunt this afternoon. This is what I do to do a bit of shopping. So I just took it out of the shops and I come back and did the, the Roman field, which is not too far away. Uh, came in from a different angle today. I... Uh, Normal starting point, and I swung out in, a, in an arc to try near the medieval road that we know that goes down through the middle of the field. Never found anything on that roadway. I think it's uh, either well ploughed out or there's just nobody ever lost anything down there. I found the odd bits and pieces, but that's about it. So we found a few bits of lead, other bits of a dross, bits of foil. So we know that's a, an area that needs to be looked at in the future. Um, I'm going to have to do a good hunt on that medieval road. I've not been down there with the, with the new machines. I used to do that with an old Arado. So I might give that another go in a, in a few future hunts because the, the pipeline's not in yet. Uh, they're still digging and doing something down there. So at least I've got a, a bit extra time to, to play with. Now from the finds point of view, not a bad afternoon really. Quite a few fine point bags. Uh, spindle whirl's quite nice. That could be... Roman could be medieval, very difficult to date those, so I'll submit that to the finds people and see if they can identify it a bit more closely. Quite a few artifacts, uh, ro little Roman grotties, and a couple of nice little lead gaming tokens. I'm really pleased with those. Um, one of them's definitely lead, you can tell by the weight, the one with the big cross on it, and the one with like looks like a fleur de lis or, or something. It could be pewter that one, but it's definitely a little gaming piece. So, nice little afternoon's hunt in the sunshine. That makes a change. The last few of it have been hiding uh, away from all the rain showers that come through. So we'll be concentrating on the Roman sites now for the next few months and hopefully through the winter. Brian's told me that he's only going to cultivate one part of the field. Unfortunately, that's the part uh, where the hammers are. So hopefully we can get a few when he turns that over. But it normally pretty turns, turns over pretty quick. So uh, we'll have to wait for the next season. But the Roman patch is going to be available all through the winter. Uh, these pipeline people just seem to be delaying themselves, so he's decided to split the crop this year. So it's your pal Mal signing off now, and I'd like you have a look at the finds. Cheers then.